The following is paid programming. Welcome to Something More with Chris Boyd, Certified Financial Planner Practitioner and Founder of Asset Management Resources, LLC, a registered investment advisor firm. We call it Something More because we like to talk not only about those important dollar and cents issues, but also the quality of life issues that make the money matters matter. Here he is, your fulfillment facilitator, your partner in prosperity, advising clients across the country, your host, Jay Christopher Boyd. Welcome back to the program, Something More with Chris Boyd. Thanks for being with us. And I'm here again with Jeff Perry as my co-host. But I've got Jeff Tamaning as our guest, I guess. We've got the Jeffs, the, the doubling up on the Jeffs. So Jeff Tamaning is a wealth manager with AMR. And uh, both of you, thanks for being with me. Happy to be here. Same here. All right. So uh, we have a lot we we're going to talk about, but I think... Um, to start things off, we're going to talk a little bit about a recent uh, uh, webinar we gave for our clientele and share some of the same information for our, our listeners. Uh, there's lots to talk about, but um, uh, we gave just to set it up. We gave this program uh, called the Retirement Red Zone, trying to focus on the challenges that people face as they approach retirement, the planning that they want to be thinking about, and that oh. Uh, five years, maybe even less uh, as they approach retirement, uh, the scope of things to be planning around. And uh, we'll tell a little bit about what each of us spoke about. Um, and uh, Jeff Tamaning, maybe we'll start with you as you started off the webinar, uh, talking about some of the um, qualitative considerations that people need to think about, the, the preparations mentally uh, for what's involved in retirement. Yeah, you know, I think uh, with with our profession and financial planning and financial advice, there's so much focus on the, the quantitative side of it. Um, what's your number? How many, you know, how much money do you need to retire? What happens if there's um, a medical event? Um, you know, how do you fund that? Um, so there's so much talk behind the numbers. Uh, and what's often forgotten is, you know, what is the life that you want to live in retirement? You know, what are the things that are important to you? So one of the things I wanted to, to make sure we brought up as we were presenting on the retirement red zone is to, to be able to get yourself in a good mindset um, before you, you actually retire and have an idea of what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. So that 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 was the reasoning behind, um, you know, my part of the the workshop. I think um, a lot of times this is an underestimated uh, consideration. You know, um, so often we are connected to our work for our, our identity. Um, if I'm not a financial planner, who am I? Uh, if, you know, in my case, if I'm not um, uh, fill in the blank, you know, if I'm not a lawyer, doctor, uh, et cetera, uh, whatever you might uh, do for your work, uh, so much of our social connections are tied to our work experience. Right. Uh, so much of our um, routines are tied there. So. If we don't do some preparation of how we're going to spend our time, where are our energies going to be? Or where are we going to find fulfillment? Um, uh, how are we going to find uh, interactions, social engagement? Um, what's going to give us enthusiasm to get out of bed? Uh, what's <laughs> that routine going to be like? Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, and there can be different stages of retirement, um, the, and, and, and I think for some, it's initially it's like a vacation that's extended, but then there there can be like some disillusionment of like what what do I do now? You know what's what's going to be what is this all it is? You know that kind of thing. Uh, maybe people golf and love to golf, but do they want to golf all the time? You know maybe they do. I don't know. Golfers probably do actually. Not uh, even, every day. No. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, you used and uh, we've, we've used a couple of checklists 
to help guide you through the conversation. And I think they're very insightful for people to take a look at. If people want to see your comments or the entire webinar, it's mm -hmm. on our it's on our webpage at asset uh, at amrfinancial.com, amrfinancial.com. It's right on the right on the home page. Retirement original, like about an hour and a half. And Jeff, your part was in the in the beginning stage of the of the presentation. Tell us about those checklists and why you think they're so important. Well, sometimes it, when you when you ask certain questions, it you know it it gets your mind thinking about um, your goals or potential goals. You know, one that I ask myself, we actually didn't talk about it in the webinar, but I I saw a, a, a prospective client in the office yesterday, and we were joking about the lottery, and. I had also seen. I hope that's not their plan. That is not. That is not her plan. <laughs> she had brought up. Well, I don't think I'm going to do this unless I win the lottery. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. However, I did see a lottery car driving around um, near the <laughs> office recently, and so it got me think. Well, maybe I need to go. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that they know something. Maybe what one of our you, clients. What's the great questions? Uh, I can't think of the life planner's name. Uh, George Kinder. Thank you, George yeah. Kinder's uh, but, great question. This was this was the question I was thinking of because of the lottery, which was, okay, let's say I won the lottery today, but I wasn't rich, but I had enough to meet my needs and live a decent life, you know, whatever that number is. What would my life look like today? You know, what would I what do? Would I, right? And so that's one way to kind of look at it. Like if you were retiring today, I mean, I'm 53. Um, if, if I were able to retire today, what would my life look like? And, and I had all the money that I needed, not necessarily all the money that I wanted. Um, but that's, that was one way to look at it. And yeah. so on the checklists, you know, one of the checklists that's on there was a simple worksheet that shows Hey, what does your perfect day in retirement look like? What what are you doing in the morning? What are you doing in the afternoon? What are you doing in the evening? Um, what are you doing on Sundays, Wednesdays, Saturdays? Um, so you you kind of think that through. You're visualizing it. Who are you spending it with? And what are the activities you're doing or not doing? Um, so those were a couple of the worksheet. That was one of the worksheets that that I had. And again, take a look. You can even just go to YouTube and you know type in asset management resources, uh, retirement red zone, and it should come up. Um, and you can see those checklists, and you can see our, our webinar on there. Um, but there was like another couple of the questions that uh, I went through were. Hey, do you plan to change your residency in retirement? Um, you know, do you want to take sabbatical while you're still working? And will that sabbatical mean you're going to push your retirement a little further out? Yeah. Um, one or two, maybe it gives you an opportunity to say, oh, these are the things that I might want to do when I stop working. Um, I really enjoyed it at age 57, I will probably enjoy it at age 67. Um, you know, do you want to just slow down and work part time? As Chris was saying earlier, we spend so much of our time in our work years and that do it with a particular vocation. And in many ways that defines us. And so when you get to the, the quote to the end of that, the work years, um, you find yourself searching for a new identity. Uh, and, and so that's another thing to consider. Yeah, to this point, Jeff, I know someone who, uh, <laughs> sorry, what's that? Yeah, you're talking about yourself. You're, uh, <laughs> Jeff's talking about me. I retired at 56. And I, <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 was not, but you, I went through, so I, you know, last 10 years of my professional career for the listeners who don't know, I was second in charge of the Barnesville County Sheriff's Office. And, I went through this process. My sheriff wasn't running for re-election, and I decided that I was able to retire. I came in to see Chris Boyd, and he told me I was okay. I should do these couple things to tweak it. And so the process, the, 
the process that you described in your presentation on the Red Zone webinar is the process that I went through with all those huh. checklists, all those questions. So you were right on. And then lo and behold, I said, you know what? Thanks to a conversation with the CEO here, I said, I think I would like to work part time. I think I could I could add value to other people, but Absolutely. also add value to myself, but to myself and to have this. I wasn't searching for identity. I was OK being the retired guy, but but to have that, you know, to have a replacement purpose and to be intentional mm -hmm. every day and have something positive to do that would help others. Mm -hmm. So you know, way, it, it was to help make a difference to other people in their financial life that you thought you could contribute. Yeah. Well, that's encouraging yes. to hear that yeah. what I what I was talking about, someone's actually done. If you look at the, if you yeah. can see my face on your, uh, when people check out the webinar, if you can see my face when you're talking, I'm going like this, because yes, those, <laughs> those are questions yeah. that you have to ask yourself because mm -hmm. it's, you're going to be in a different place. Well, I was anyway, we re relocated, but even if you stay in the same home, you're not going to be at that workplace with those associates, those friends, those, that boss, whether you like it or not, I loved my boss, but you know, you, things are going to change and it's going to be different. And you need to you need to work out those questions or at least anticipate them and magnify it if you're retiring at the same time as your spouse, which I did. And what are your visions? Are they the same vision for retirement? Yeah, that's important. <laughs> Meaning, yeah. I like to travel. I hate to travel Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All, those, all those things. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so uh, it's so I'm going to say one more thing and then kick it back to you, Jeff. But if all of that being said, I also think that it, this webinar was good for people in retirement because we have these ideas when you're approaching retirement and you're saying, OK, this is what I'd like to do. And then you get into retirement and it just goes on and takes a life of its own. I think it's good for people in retirement to go back and watch this mm, webinar, for example, point. each part of it, you know, not just the uh, the qualitative things, but the legacy building and the income and the health care and all the things that we talked about in the webinar. But I think it's important for a retired person to go back and hear these this conversation, these subject matters, especially what you were talking about, Jeff, the qual qualitative things and say, oh, yeah, you know, I intended to do X, Y or Z and I, I'm not doing it. Maybe I should re-engage mm -hmm. that that goal I had for retirement because you know, you hear retired and retired people saying it all the time. I don't know how I had time to work, right? <laughs> <laughs> because because your life becomes full of whatever yeah. it might be. But maybe there's some things if you're in retirement that if you uh, reflect on it, you might want to be purposeful about it and intentional and, you know, go do that thing that you thought you'd be doing. The other thing I talked about at the very beginning of, of my my segment was um, you know, there's also, I and mean, historically people say, well, you need to retire at this certain age and then you just stop working. But I've also had discussions with uh, clients who love the work that they're, they're doing and the quote retirement years end up being not necessarily you're stopping working, but that let's call it from a financial planning standpoint, the time when you can still continue working, but not because you have to, it's because you want to. Right. And so that could be, let's call it the doctor or lawyer who still continues to enjoy um, their, their craft, but maybe they don't want to do it 50 hours a week or even right. 30 hours a week, but right. they might enjoy it 10 to 15 hours a week. Um, you know, so, or like I know financial planners who've talked about it and I'm like, well, why, why are you quitting if you still enjoy doing what you're doing and, um, you know, just, just keep doing it. Uh, there's nothing point. that says you have to stop um, as long as you enjoy it and you can enjoy your life at the same time. I, I tell them keep going. So that's just another thing that I've seen a lot of instead of saying, well, okay, I'm sick. I'm 65. I'm starting to get Medicare. I'm, I'm done working. And that's not necessarily the way to go. Yeah. We have a physician friend who retired after a very successful career, mm -hmm. uh, you know, big practice. And she decided when she retired that she wanted to work 
think it was either one or two days a week at the um, local um, veterans office. Okay, veterans, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, and she wasn't part of the management of the practice anymore. She All that administrative management stuff disappeared, and she just worked with patients who she had a passion for, you know, one or two days a week, and it was not only keeping her in the loop and, you know, keeping that identity, keeping her busy, but she felt like she was giving back and she certainly was because those uh, men and women who have served our country often don't have access to the mm. quality and uh, frequency of care. So she was making their lives a little bit better. And that's wonderful. So, so to your point, it, it doesn't have to be that. It can just be a change of your work. For listening to something more with Chris Boyd, call us for help, whether it's financial planning, portfolio management, insurance concerns, or those quality of life issues that make the money matters matter. Whatever's on your mind, visit us at amrfinancial.com or call us toll free at 866-771-8901 or send us your questions to radio at amrfinancial.com. You're listening to Something More with Chris Boyd, Financial Talk Show. Asset Management Resources, LLC, and J. Christopher Boyd, CFP, provide investment advice on an individual basis to clients only. Proper advice depends on a complete analysis of all facts and circumstances. The information given on this program is in the nature of general financial comments and cannot be relied upon as pertaining to your specific situation. AMR, LLC, cannot guarantee that using the information from this show will generate profits or ensure freedom from loss. Listeners should consult their own financial financial advisors or conduct their own due diligence before making any financial decisions.